What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of House Flipper. As always, if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video. It would be greatly appreciated. Today, we are of course going to be continuing our work on the Samarta Myers property. I'm not decided yet whether or not I want to do the first floor here or if we should just move upstairs to the second floor. But in that previous episode, we of course did finish the sort of man cave that we'd been working on. However, there are a few things that I kind of forgot to mention towards the end of that episode. So starting off with the brick, a lot of you probably didn't even know that this is a completely different brick texture. The, uh, the original one just up here was a bit too uniform and I, I really wanted something that kind of looked a bit more rustic. So this is what we ended up going with and honestly, I think it works really, really well. The other thing was the flooring. I didn't touch on this at all, but originally it was sort of this smooth concrete. I don't actually think there's a single room in here that still has the original flooring. No, because we changed the bathroom too. So I decided to go with a more like gray tone wood panel flooring. And I really, really like the look of this, especially contrasting against those black cabinets. I think that works out awesome. The other different floor that we did, this is the first time I've ever used carpet. The very, very first time I've ever used carpet in any house. I feel like most theaters, let me know of course where you're from if this is the case, but most theaters have like the thinnest carpet flooring, right? They, they didn't even put any foam pad. You know there's just solid concrete underneath that. It's like just the tiniest layer of fabric running over top of that concrete. That's kind of what I was going for with this one. Hang on just a second. I remember now in the bathroom down here, we had that nice wooden trimmed round mirror, right? And it did look really nice. I thought it, it did definitely help break up the hard edges of the cabinetry here. And I mean, the sink is just a big rectangle as well, but I really do think that this mirror that we decided to go with instead works a bit better. And I think that's finally everything. There's probably something else that I'm forgetting, but nonetheless, today I think we're actually going to get going on the main floor. I'd like to do a living room up here. Of course, we're going to need a kitchen since it is the main floor. I can't say I've ever seen a house with a kitchen upstairs or in the basement. As of right now, our only kitchen is in the basement. But living, dining room, kitchen for sure, and then we'll have maybe a full bath, maybe just a half bath back in here. I'm not sure whether or not we're really going to have enough space to put a shower. I guess it, it couldn't hurt, but since we do have a full bath downstairs, I don't really see the need to, to add another one up here. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I really do love this property, truly. I think the layout that we've chosen is fantastic. I think the house overall is absolutely superb. However, the fact that we still have this sort of spooky, ambient music in my headset the whole time we're flipping this property is absolutely driving me mad it's just it's really distracting to tell you the truth I, I have no idea why so i need to see if i can just turn off all music or something there it is there it is okay yep should have done that a long time ago dude a long long time ago that's so much so much better it's so much more peaceful like the whole time we've been working on the property thus far i feel like i've been kind of like on the edge of my seat you know just waiting for something else to jump out and, and scare us or whatever and now that we have no more music listen listen birds chirping it's a beautiful day and we're ready to get flipping started dude i actually i genuinely almost swore just now but the first thing I wanna do here is these doors. So we gotta get some sliding glass doors. I've been told that the ones with the sort of Wi-Fi symbol on them, like these ones here, will actually open automatically when you get near them. I think that's super awesome, but unfortunately this style of door isn't gonna work in this space. So we do have to just stick with a, a classic looking sliding glass door. I think I'm gonna go with white trim just because I mean all the windows are trimmed in white the front door I'm of course gonna change to be trimmed in white but behind that front door like this whole porch everything all the trim on the house is white so I'm just gonna continue that theme and I think it'll end up looking pretty nice but we got to come back here get these two doors put up I'm gonna try to put it I don't know do we like recess it a little bit or should we have it as far out i guess let's let's do it as far out as it can possibly be we'll do one right there and then we'll do the other 
just here. Yeah, dude, that already looks so much better. That already looks so much nicer. And then part of me, you guys, believe it or not, part of me does want to dedicate an entire episode just to sort of, you know, decorate the exterior. But now that we got our sliding glass doors up in the back of the property, I'm going to come up to the front, just get rid of that original front door, and we're going to find something that's going to work Quite a bit better here we go this is a nice inviting looking front door i definitely don't want the handle to be white there we go it's beautiful it is absolutely beautiful you guys i love it so much i do wish the exterior handle was the same as the interior handle though like i don't love that they're different i was thinking they were both gonna be the sort of like i don't even know what you'd call that plunger style handle instead of like a knob you know what i mean <laughs> you probably you guys are probably like, oh, this dude, this dude really complaining about door handles now. It'll be fine. Now we just need to find something that's going to work on the inside. Something that looks close to this Sembian door. But obviously we don't want anything that has glass leading into the bathroom. That would just be super weird. I'm curious, actually. Do we have enough space? No, we don't. We'd have to, like, super extend that wall. It would look a little funny if we, uh, if we tried to do a barn door right there. We might have a pocket door that would work well, though. With the right circumstance, I could see this looking good, but just because we don't exactly have a whole lot of wall to work with, a whole lot of real estate to work with here, it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. So we're gonna just, we're gonna go with a, a normal door, right? I definitely think we use this one, like, all the time for, for interior doors, but it looks really nice, so I think we're just gonna continue to use it until... A better option comes about, I suppose. As for the stairwell here, I do think I'm gonna actually add a physical door, not just a doorway or a door frame, just because I personally would love a door at the top of my staircase because we hear everything that's going on upstairs all the time. But that is neither here nor there. Actually, I don't even know why I brought that up because it's not important to the episode. But now we at least have a nice door at the top of the staircase in this house. Just before we get going on the furnishings, I wanna add just a little wall here, just a little outcrop right in between these two windows because I think this is actually gonna work really dang well for a sort of fake or faux chimney to an electric fireplace. You'll see what I'm talking about here in just a sec. I'm definitely not looking for anything that's gonna stand out a whole bunch here, so I'm just gonna go with a nice classic looking, very clean lines, white electric fireplace and that's going to go just in the center of this wall and now that we have that i'm going to actually use the exact same brick texture that we used in the basement and we're sort of going to tie that into the main floor now as well we're going to apply that onto uh, this sort of faux wall that we've created yep i love it i love it that's perfect that's exactly what i wanted next thing is of course a big old flat screen tv just above that bad boy i think the only one that actually fits up there is going to be the 85 inch oh, even just barely definitely not much overhang here on the on the edges but ultimately it does fit so i'm gonna leave it i really just thought of this whole thing on the fly i didn't exactly you know, plan on doing that. So that does sort of change the rest of my design decisions for this space because originally I was going to have this corner area sort of be the living room. This corner area with the sliding glass door was going to be the dining room. And then over here was going to be a, a smaller kitchen, but a kitchen nonetheless. And now we've kind of centralized the living space. So we might do a study, almost like an office but without any walls or a door. It's not gonna be a dedicated office. It'll just sort of be an addition to the living room. That way we can have our couch kind of in the center right here, and then we can move our, our dining room stuff just over here still. It should work out, hopefully. Having said that though, I'm gonna move now to the couch. We gotta find something that's gonna look good up against that staircase. I've only just placed this thing down and I'm already second guessing myself about this decision because I'm not sure now if I wanna have a, a walkway just behind here. So it's, it's almost a straight shot, right? When you enter into the house, straight in behind the couch into the kitchen. That's, it's a lovely idea, right? And to be honest, if I put the couch up against the stairs completely, not only are you gonna be kind of walking around the couch just to get into the kitchen, but that would make this area feel a little bit too big, a little bit too open 
I feel like. So instead, I'm gonna try to find a coffee table and we'll kind of we'll kind of build up from there. Something kind of rustic, you know, to match the brick on the fireplace. I think that actually looks pretty good. We can still get through here pretty easy, still get through there pretty easy, so I'm happy with that. The only thing missing, I think, is gonna be a rug, but I don't wanna do that just yet. I actually wanna move now into the flooring for this place, and you guys are probably gonna be a bit surprised to learn that it's not gonna be old faithful, old reliable, that sort of like, um, well, rather than describe it, I guess I could just find it in the store, right? The Herringbone Dark Walnut Floor. This is the one we've been using the most, I feel like, lately, and I'm still gonna do a dark floor, but I'm not gonna do that dark floor. Instead, I actually wanna use these black panels. We'll do just in front of the front door for right now, because I don't really want this to go into the bathroom by mistake, you know? But now we'll take it from corner to corner. This can be a pretty large area we're doing right now. Oh my God, dude, it's looking so good. It's looking so good already. And we're also gonna continue that into this uh, very, very small kitchen area. Even, you know what, why not? Just at the top of the basement stairs right there. Make sure we get all the little nooks and crannies. I do wish, I realize this house is a bit older than all the other ones, but I do wish we had the ability on this one to, you know, change the staircase. That way we could at least match, you know, either the upstairs floor or the downstairs floor. But now that we have the main floor flooring complete, I'm actually gonna move into walls. Usually I save this till the very, very end, but I'll see you guys here in a sec. You might be surprised on the color we're gonna choose here. It's gray. The color we decided to go with is gray. I've had this idea kind of brewing for a while now. I thought it'd be kind of cool to try a, almost picture like a gray scale main floor. It's not gonna be all gray everything, but mainly darker colors, specifically gray on the walls. But once we add the trim in here, we will have some some nice white trim to sort of help break things up a bit on the on the wall and floor line here. So then I think it'll really, really look nice. As of right now, I think it looks fine, but it'll get better, okay? It'll get better. Those of you that are skeptical right now, just, just hang in there. What I wanna take a look at now is actually something I downloaded from the Steam Workshop like eons ago and have just never used it. It's this sort of wainscoting type material. Right here, I was in the wrong category. So we're gonna try this from this corner, or this wall, I suppose, to this corner all the way just past the fireplace. We'll kind of skip over the faux chimney that we've made onto this corner. And then I think we'll stop maybe just before the door, maybe just after the door. I'm not really sure. We'll have to just sort of see what looks good. And God, I hope this lines up. I, I just hope we don't go through all the trouble of, you know, getting every single other piece put up. And then finally on our last piece, it's just not fitting right. Like that would be just our luck, tell you the truth. But I'm gonna start with the sort of larger panel and then we'll uh, see if we need to downscale it a little bit so it'll fit better. So far, so good, dude. So far, so good. That actually looks pretty nice. As for that corner there, we could, of course, fit a corner piece. I'm gonna try this one first, though. Oh my god. Oh my god, it looks so nice. What the heck? Whose house is this, dude? They even have these little corner pieces so you can make sure you get all the nooks and crannies filled in. I don't know what to do over here. I guess we'll have to wait and see what all we're gonna do in the kitchen. I don't think it looks bad without the corner trim here. Plus there's there's nothing on this wall, so it might look kind of funny if we, uh, if we continue it. But for right now, dude, this corner, dining room corner, looking spot on. Now all we have to do is finish this wall over here. I think that's actually where we're gonna cut it off. And there is a little trim piece just on the on the edge there, just to, you know, have a nice finished look to it. But I feel like we've, kind of matched the amount of space, the amount of empty space we have from the door here to this corner, from the door here to like the corner of the wainscoting. I think it looks nice, right? Let me know what you guys think, of course, down in the comments, but I am feeling this. You would not believe how much I am feeling this space right now. And now that we've finished with all that woodwork, I do wanna to try to pick out a nice dining room set. I definitely don't wanna use a black table, but I would like to use a darker wood for sure. Maybe like a, like a cherry wood would probably look pretty nice. And actually, you know what? I think cherry might be a bit too red. I'm trying to match our little coffee table that we have in the living room. So maybe we need something lighter. Cedar, there it is. I should have started with cedar, dude. That's my favorite. That's my favorite. This table kind of reminds me of a picnic table. I'm placing 
the uh, matching benches down, placing two of those just so I can get them equally spaced on on either side. I don't actually think that looks terrible, but it does take up a ton of room, and I didn't really think about that. Let's see, maybe pushing it up against that wall will help alleviate any congestion. Oh yeah, dude, that's so much better. That is so much better. And honestly, I don't think I'm gonna do an, an area rug in the living room anymore. I went ahead and sold the original windows because they weren't really centered now that we have the, the sort of chimney, the faux chimney, kind of separating the room. So I'm gonna move that window just to there and then we're gonna do a similar thing over in front of our little picnic table area, the dining room area. Smash that wall out, reinstall a new window and boom. Dude, that helps so much. That helps so much. I think it's gonna look really, really dumb though from the outside. Oh, you know what? That's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. And, come to think of it, I remember seeing a chimney on the Steam Workshop that you could actually purchase and install on the exterior of the house. So I might actually, I might actually look into that really quick. If we do want to use this chimney that I just downloaded, we are unfortunately going to have to get rid of, sort of replace the upstairs windows as well. Hopefully, it doesn't cause any huge issues, but for right now, I'm just going to get rid of those. We'll head back down the scaffolding here, just move this out of the way. And now we can place down another faux chimney just on the exterior of the house. That actually looks really good, but I think I placed it backwards, so give me just a sec. There we go, let's try that. That look a little bit nicer? Yeah, there we go. So there's like this angled bit right there. I had it facing the wrong direction, but that looks freaking insane, dude. It doesn't match the brick texture. I realized that, that we did on the inside of the house. But nobody's ever gonna know. Except for us, I guess. We will know. But now back into the windows. We're gonna do the exact same ones we had before and hopefully they still fit and don't look that strange. Yeah, it's a little derpy looking. Definitely a little derpy looking. I'm gonna scoot them both out just, just a tick, just a hair. Yeah, it still looks pretty weird. Still looks super weird actually. I think, well, of course, I'm gonna need to get a new scaffolding now. But I think what we have to do here is actually use the same window we used on the first floor now up here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that is so much nicer looking. It is very uniform, but since we do have the chimney to help, you know, break things up on this side, whereas on the other side, we have nothing. We almost need to have different types of windows. I think that looks pretty good still. So. With the windows finished, we now have something that looks a bit like this. I'm digging it, dude. I gotta head upstairs just to make sure it didn't totally ruin the uh, the bedrooms. No, actually, that works a lot better. I don't even know why I was worried. I don't even know why I was worried, dude. We're a freaking professional. We're a flipping professional. And now we're gonna turn our attention to working on this little office area over here in the corner of the living room. I really like the look of this desk, but I'm having a hard time deciding what wood type I want to use or what wood color I want to use. I feel like the best move here is to just probably do cedar so we sort of match that picnic table that we have in the dining room. And this isn't going to be a, a gaming area by any means. It's just going to be a nice formal looking office area. Really wasn't sure about the cedar until just now, but I think we made the right call. If we did black, I think it would kind of blend in with the floor a bit too much. Kind of like what the couch is doing right now. So we we very well could still add an area rug. Honestly, second guessing myself on like every decision today. But I think the office space over here is looking pretty dang good so far. Of course, guys, don't forget, we'll go through and do a bunch of decor and stuff. Make the space look a bit more lived in at the very end of things. But for now, I think we should probably get going on this kitchen. One minute, 37 seconds later. I feel like I've been scrolling through this list for forever. My big hang up right now, you guys, is I don't really know what sort of overarching theme we have in this room. We kind of have a mix of three things. We have contemporary, we have rustic, and we kind of have modern from the fireplace and the couch. So I would love to add a, a more modern flair into the kitchen as well. However, we don't really have that many modern looking cabinets to choose from. So instead, I think we're gonna go more contemporary and I'm gonna go with the Kalina set. And now that we've made that decision, the next thing we have to figure out is if we wanna do wooden ones, if we wanna do light ones, dark ones, 
to be honest, I think light or white in particular is probably going to look the best. So that's what I'm going to go with. A few moments later. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Had to just kind of stop talking for a minute so I could actually focus and get this thing pretty well configured. So for the most part, we're pretty much finished in here. However, I do still have to add the actual cabinets up on the wall. On top of that, we need to start thinking about what sort of backsplash we want to do. Of course, since we did go with white cabinets, a good solid option would be a nice white subway tile. We do do that all the time, but I want to see what it looks like first before I just decide, you know what, since we do it all the time, I'm not going to do it today. Because to be quite honest, most of the things that we do quote unquote all the time, it's just because they look the best, in my opinion, of course. Oh, right, dude, since we painted our kitchen gray, we can't exactly do this sort of like half tile thing that we usually do because gray is not an option, although steel gray exists. Okay, I have made my mind up, finally. I think I've decided to just go with steel gray and I'm gonna have to just go through and paint all the walls we've already painted just a slightly different shade of gray. A little annoying that we had to repaint the entire room, I will admit, but I do think that this shade of gray actually looks a little bit nicer. And I just noticed I forgot to paint the top of that window. Since we use the Kalina set for the cupboards down here, I also wanted to use the Kalina set for the cabinetry as well. So I, I made a nice little exhaust hood area with some cabinetry surrounding it. I think that looks pretty nice. I did just realize though, that we don't have a dishwasher in here. We'd be washing all of our dishes in the sink, or I guess the, the homeowner, whoever purchases this house would be doing it all by hand. So I don't, I don't love that for them. You know, I don't want them to struggle too much. So I'm gonna sell that cabinet there or cupboard. We're gonna move over the set with drawers in it. And then I think we'll be able to squeeze a dishwasher in there. It is actually pretty difficult to find one that matches this cabinetry set perfectly, but let's see, nope, see that's too tall. They're, they're all just so close to working. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it one more shot. I'm gonna give it one more shot. We'll see if we can't find something that'll fit. Oh my God, it's so close. It is seriously so incredibly close. You guys, why, why does the countertop look different? It's the exact same thing. It's like, it's shinier. First of all, it, it hangs out just a little bit too far. And then down underneath, it kind of sits in or sits back a little bit too far as well. I can't do it. I, I just can't do it, dude. It looks super bad. Yeah, we'll just let the new homeowners decide whether or not they want a dishwasher. So I think that's a wrap on the kitchen for now. Of course, there's much more decor to be placed down in the space, but now I think we need to move into the bathroom. I had mentioned this at the start, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to do a full bath in here or if we should just do a half bath, sort of like a powder room type situation. That just meaning we'd only have a sink and a toilet in here. And I think that's probably the route I want to go just because we do have a shower now in the basement bathroom. We'll have two showers most likely upstairs in those bathrooms. So let's go ahead and get our installations installed. I wanna put the toilet down over here. So the first thing you see when you walk in here is the toilet. Probably not the first thing you would want to see, but I like the idea of having a sort of vanity set right here with a nice mirror on it. So we're gonna grab our sink plumbing installation and get that unscrewed and ready to go. And let's pick out the vanity. In the previous few episodes, I feel like we've been using this Yule set a whole lot. So I'm, I'm gonna try to stray away from that and choose something we don't typically use. We could have this be a pretty modern bathroom, right? We don't have a whole lot of modern touches out in the living room, but that, that should hopefully tie everything together since we weren't able to use modern cabinetry in the kitchen. Maybe do something like this, like a cedar top to kind of match all the other cedar stuff we have. Maybe that's not the move. We'll change it if we don't like it, but for right now, I'm happy with that. So now let's pick the toilet. We'll use this new one, the La Grono toilet. It's got like the, the button flush on the back of it. See if it's any easier to assemble than the other toilets. It is very, very easy. Wait, where's the, where's the seat? This toilet has no seat. It's just, you only pee in this toilet. You cannot sit down here. You can only stand and pee. Or if you're a lady, Figure it out. I don't, I don't know. But we got the two things we wanted in the bathroom now installed. So let's move into the floor and we'll make a decision on the walls while we're at it. For the floor, I've actually been eyeballing this panel for a while and I thought it might look pretty good in a bathroom. It kind of mimics 
hardwood floor, but it is supposed to be that sort of like stone, that, that tile that just happens to look like hardwood. So I think that's what we're going to go with. It's, it's a lot of gray. Again, the whole idea here is kind of grayscale, trying to keep everything neutral. We'll, we'll have a little splash of color with these pillows and some other decor that we'll add in later, but I'm liking this so far. As for the walls in here, I know for sure I want to do a shiplap panel behind where the mirror would go just above that sink. I think that white shiplap is going to look really nice. Or how about this? A fresh morning. That, that sounds like a good color for a bathroom. It's kind of like a like a gray blue type color. I would say that's probably a job well done. It looks like the uh, little scream mask is quite pleased with the decision we made in here. And I gotta say, it does look pretty dang good. But now, ladies and gentlemen, I think the time has come for us to go through and just do a whole bunch of decorations. Hopefully brighten up, liven up the space a little bit. I'll see you guys here in just a sec. Well, for you, it'll be just a sec. For me, I think I'm going to be here for a while. One eternity later. As expected, that did take an extremely long amount of time, but the end result is always so worth it, you guys. If you just take a little bit extra time with the decorations, I promise it'll be worth it in the end. So, let's go on a little tour of what all we got going on in here now. First, we're going to start off in the bathroom, since this was the first room that I actually worked on. And this just looks stunning. It looks so incredibly good. I do still need to kind of peruse through the workshop a little bit, maybe choose some more decorations. That way we can have a little bit of differentiation in each room. I do kind of end up using similar decorations throughout the entire house. So I'm, I'm trying to break that habit. I really am. But we got we got to get more to work with before we can actually make that happen. But again, dude, bathroom is looking super good. I added way more decor in the bathroom than I usually do. Once again, that's that's another thing I'm just, I'm trying to work on, I really am. And so even though this isn't a full bathroom, meaning it doesn't have a tub or a shower, I still added in little touches like toothbrushes and, and stuff in here. I also felt it was necessary to extend our little shiplap panel that we had just behind the sink over into this corner as well. It just kind of makes it feel a little bit more finished. When the wall was blue, it looked fine. But once I swapped it out for the shiplap, I was like, all right, that's the one. That's the ticket. And then we have this cute little like boho-esque hanging plant up in the corner of the window. And I did actually remember to do some window treatments. Having said that, though, I want you guys to remember not every window needs a window treatment. Some can just be left unutilized or, or unused. In the living room, for example, this window and this window are left untreated while this window at least has some sort of curtain. I didn't really want to do any blinds in here since the windows are so pretty by themselves. And then in the kitchen back over here, we have another like brighter colored sort of curtain setup just to add some sort of color back in here because again the whole like main idea behind this this main floor was to kind of have like a gray scale theme overall as for the office area i would say i'm i'm pretty happy with it you know it, as far as offices go it's it's pretty simple we just have stuff like a laptop here oh we can actually turn that on i didn't realize that but we have a laptop nice little desk some plants kind of strung around the place to make it feel a little bit more lived in. And then we have some photos of people and things that we have zero connection to. I have no idea whose cat this is. It could be Macerson's cat. I know uh, Matthew Miller also has a cat. Those are some of the Discord mods. Friendly reminder, if you're not currently a member of the Discord, link is always in the description. Make sure you join. We have uh, we have some good times on there, you could say. It's a good way to you know stay in touch with stuff that's happening behind the scenes with the channel. As for the living room, I did end up using a rug. I just, I couldn't leave the floor fully exposed like it was. I needed something to help break it up just a little bit. And I think this actually did the trick. It's kind of a beige, but also has a little bit of white in there. So as far as color scheme goes, I felt like it matched the rest of the space pretty well. And then we have a few of the same lamps, but they're different. They're all different. So on the desk, this is the taller version of this. This one is, of course, the shorter version. And then this is the super, super tall standing floor lamp. 
You guys probably already saw the bag of Doritos and the Starbucks coffee on the on the coffee table. And I also took the time to go through and make sure we had a table setting for each possible place you could sit down here. While we can't actually sit on this bench, I'm imagining us being able to fit, you know, six people around here pretty comfortably. Now into the kitchen, I was able to add in an island. I wanted to do an island right here so bad, but I was worried that it was gonna be too big and, and just kind of make this space unusable. Thankfully though, there's a pretty good gap here. So making our way in and out of the kitchen is still a breeze as it should be. Of course, we had to add a nice little coffee nook as well as a fully stocked pantry, kind of. I mean, you got everything you'd need for at least a month or so, right? A lifetime supply of ramen. We got Nature Valley crunchy granola bars, Velveeta shells with cheese, buttermilk pancake mix, Doritos, and barbecue Lay's chips, dude. We're looking good. We're looking, or I guess whoever's gonna buy the house is looking good. They're fully stocked up ready to rock. The rest of the kitchen is decorated pretty much how we how we usually do. You know, we got our herbs and whatnot up in the windowsill. Got a little soap dispenser, microwave, still no dishwasher. Again, we're gonna leave that up to whoever purchases this property from us, which actually brings me to another point. It looks like, as of right now, Family Johnson, or the Johnson family, has the highest likelihood of purchasing this property, even though we still don't even have any bedrooms in here. So that's probably subject to change in the next episode when we either tackle that or we're gonna be moving outdoors into the backyard. We'll have to wait and see. I really don't know what I'm gonna be in the mood for, of course. And then the last room, a room that I kind of forgot about, I'll be honest, is this sort of hallway leading into the staircase leading into the man cave. So in here, I wanted to keep it really, really simple just because why bother putting decor in here? You know, it's it's not really gonna be seen very often, but I did go through and at least add one plant just to help it out a tiny bit. And then the whole rest of the space is that same rustic brick that we used for our faux fireplace wall back in there, as well as the whole basement man cave area. So I probably forgot to touch on a few things, but ladies and gentlemen, I think that's where we're gonna wind down this episode at four today. Once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.